Hey guys, welcome back. So this next video is gonna be on breaking in the sheath. And so uh, as, as always, if you are new to this channel, I wanna ask you to please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you want me to do something in specific for you guys. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working with the sheath of the knife. If you are new to knives and you don't know what a sheath is, the sheath is this right here. So let's go ahead let's separate the knife from the sheath okay on my prior video that i talked about the sheath i told people that i like to lubricate my sheath but the lubrication that i use for this is actually gonna be right here extra virgin olive oil so if you didn't see my previous video scroll through my channel and you will see it so what we are gonna do is we are gonna break in this sheath so we are gonna use this right here regular ziploc bags now these i try to get them to be heavy duty i buy these at walmart and now if you are looking at prepping some sort of survival gear these are gonna come in handy in future videos so if you guys are watching my stuff and preparing your own stuff and you do not have these yet i highly recommend you go to walmart and get yourself a pack of these okay so we are gonna take one and for precautionary measures, we are going to take one more. So we're going to have a total of two. So let's go ahead and uh, let's open one up. Now we're going to open up the other one. So this is what we are going to do to break the sheet in. We are simply going to take the sheath. We're going to put it inside the two plastic bags and now I am gonna take olive oil and I'm gonna do this you guys can see I'm gonna soak my sheath in extra virgin olive oil exactly for 24 hours let me see if you guys can see there you go see that I'm soaking it for 24 hours and so the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm using a leather sheath for my knife. And so the good, the bad thing about leather is when you let it soak in water for too much time, the leather will absorb the water and then it takes a really long time for the water to dry. And because I actually do use my knife for fruits and, veg and vegetables, not just for cutting wood, what I do is I lubricate my knife with olive oil. That way I'm not ingesting any crazy chemicals. See this? And I lubricate my sheath with olive oil as well. That way the leather actually absorbs the olive oil. So anytime I'm done using my knife, what I do is I lubricate it again with olive oil. And when I put it back in its sheath, the sheath is already going to be soaked in olive oil. It's going to keep my knife lubricated and it's going to protect it from the elements, keeping it away from rust. And so now that we are here and I have the bag full of oil, I am going to take my knife. I'm gonna put it here as such. And now I'm also going to lubricate the knife. So we're gonna take a little bit of oil. There you go. And let's spread it through the knife. There you go. Same thing on the other side. Spread the olive oil. See, there you go. And so now if I choose to use this knife, to get fruits and vegetables, I'm not worried about ingesting any crazy chemicals. It'll be olive oil. And just like this, it'll protect it from its ele from the elements, meaning rust and the humidity and moisture. And we are going to leave it as such for 24 hours. All right, everybody, welcome back. So we are gonna go ahead and continue with uh, breaking in the sheath. So last we left off with was we put the sheath 
and we soaked it inside olive oil. This is a extra virgin olive oil. And same thing with the knife. I lubricated it with extra virgin olive oil. So I left this soaking like this for exactly 24 hours. So the next step is gonna be remove this and we are going to dry drip it for 24 hours. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's pull it out. Oh yeah, look at all of that mess. There you go, you see that mess? I can even smell the olive oil through the bag. Okay, moving on. Let's just leave it here for one moment. Oh, look at all this olive oil right here. Let me go back and get a cup. Cause we are gonna let this hang and dry drip all the way for 24 to 48 hours. So we are back. Now, one thing I didn't mention is I live life as a bachelor. So my place is called the sin bin. And so I don't technically keep cups. So we're gonna use this, which I got from a Cuban restaurant. And this is pretty much what I call my plates. I eat out of stuff like this. I should do a better job and buy some plates and silverware. But you know, since I'm not really married and I don't have no one to impress, uh, I live like this. Sooner or later, I'll probably buy some actual plates. But for the meantime, this is how I roll. So, we're gonna set it up on the ladder. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, look at this mess. Oh my God. Let's get the sheath. Oh man, it's gonna make a mess. So we're gonna take the sheath with the bags up to the ladder. Let's check it out. So this is how we're gonna do. We place the little bowl in the bottom Look at it, look how it's dripping, look at that. Look at that. That's your dry drip right there. It's gonna keep dripping off for 24 to 48 hours. I might just check it in 36 there, go see, see that? I'll check it in 36 hours to see how dry it is. But the end goal will be on the sheath. If you still have olive oil on the outside, we're gonna just wipe it down with paper towels but the olive oil is still gonna stay soaked on the inside. So anytime I'm done using my knife, the second I place the knife inside the sheath, the sheath will still have that olive oil in it. It'll automatically re-lube the knife for me and it'll keep it protected from all the elements. So guys, I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to watch the video. Please don't forget if you haven't done so to like, share and subscribe. And also leave any comments for me in the comment box. And if you have anything in particular that you would like to see me do a video on, go ahead and let me know and I'll try to accommodate everyone on uh, the next videos. So this is it for me for tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful time. And please remember to keep yourself safe out there. And if you do not have a firearm, make sure you go ahead and get one.